Hi everyone, this video is part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials, and today we will go through the process of downloading and installing Eclipse, which is the Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, we'll be using for most of this course. For this step, we want Java to already be installed. If you don't yet have Java installed, please pause this video and follow along with the second video in this series first. To download Eclipse, we first want to visit the Eclipse website at www.eclipse.org. Next, we click on the download button in the top right. If we scroll down, we can see Get Eclipse IDE 2022-12. This is the latest version for me, but if you have a later version available, please download that one instead. If on a Mac, you'll need to figure out which version to install. To do this, we need to go to the Apple logo on the top left corner, press About This Mac, and check the processor or chip field. If it says Intel, press Download x86-64. If it says M1, M2, or any future M chips, press Download ARM64. If you're on a Windows machine, download the x86 64-bit version. This takes us to another screen where we want to press download. Once completed, we want to open the Eclipse installer file in our downloads folder. The installer will give us a number of options of what we want to install, where we will click on the Eclipse IDE for Java Developers button. We'll then keep all of the default options and click on install. Once this is completed, we can open Eclipse just like any other application or program installed on in our computer, but as we have the installer open, we can click on the launch button here. Every time we open Eclipse, we'll be asked to select a workspace. We can keep the default location and just click on launch. Now that we have Eclipse open, let's run a program. We'll be using the same code from our earlier videos which prints hello there to the screen. In Eclipse, go to File, New, Java Project, and give the project a name. It doesn't have to be the same as the class name, but let's just call it hello and click finish. We'll talk a bit more about what packages and projects are in a later video, but this here on the left is the package explorer and it is where we can see everything we have in our workspace. Our workspace is some location on our machine where these packages are saved. At the moment, we are just in the default workspace. In the package explorer on the left side, right click on the project you just created, select new, and then class. Give the class a name and make sure the public static void main string array args method is checked. This will auto create the main method for us, and now click finish. You should now have a class with a main method. We now want to replace the code in the main method with the hello class code we used before. To recap what is happening in the code, we created a greeting variable and then printed the variable. To run the program, right click on the class in the package explorer and select run as, and then Java application. We can now see hello there printed in the console. Another way to run the program is to click on the green circle with a white triangle in the toolbar. This will run whichever program we have open. At this point, you should feel a bit more comfortable running a program in Eclipse. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to install a text editor called Visual Studio Code. For the purposes of the series, we'll mainly be using Eclipse, but there are many benefits to learning how to use different tools that we will encounter as we continue this video series. See you then!